I'm Maria Nordensten. I work at the Museum of Västervik in Sweden. Västerviks museum, the Museum of Västervik, is quite old. Uh, our collections started somewhere in the late 1800s. And uh, we are focused on the local history, of course, but also a lot on uh, Västervik as an old uh, place for shipbuilding. Uh, and uh, we also work a lot with archaeology, both on land and in the sea. Hello, my name is Tuomas. I work as a curator in Forum Marinum in Turku, Finland. And now I'm here in Vestevik in Sweden with my colleagues having a meeting of the Baltic Museum Resilience Project uh, with five uh, partners from different Baltic Sea countries. And in this video, uh, me and my colleagues will tell you uh, what the BAMUR project is all about. My name is Patrick Rang and uh, I represent the Estonian War Museum, a General Leidener Museum, which is the biggest military museum in uh, Estonia. In the organization I work as a strategy advisor, but in the context of this uh, BAMUR project I am working as a project expert. Uh, well, the BAMUR project uh, started uh, when the COVID crisis was still going on. And uh, although much of it was already passed, it still had its, uh, it was still on, as I said, and the museums in Estonia, at, la at least in our museum, in the Estonian War Museum, uh, we were quite heavily uh, affected with it. We had to change our uh, uh, work organization, uh, develop our work culture. Uh, we had some uh, also problems with uh, uh, financial issues, uh, uh, there were problems with uh, clients and uh, uh, visiting the museums because, as you all know, uh, in all countries the um, museums were closed down, either completely or temporarily. There were uh, restrictions as to how many people could get in there. So everything was different from what it used to be back in uh, 2019. And uh, not only in our museum, but also in other Estonian museums, uh, uh, there were quite a lot of changes. And so uh, we just unofficially talked between uh, uh, colleagues in our museum and also colleagues in other museums uh, what really happened, what we did, uh, what went well, uh, what, what should we have done otherwise. Uh, and then we then discovered that uh, uh, we made some common or typical solutions to the problems, but also there were quite uh, uh, new ones or innovative ones. And uh, we didn't even uh, knew at that time about the Baltic Sea region program and the uh, possibility to um, um, apply for additional funding to uh, discuss these issues. Because Estonia being a small country and all the museums know each other and uh, uh, Typical solutions uh, were also quite similar, and when we found out about the Baltic Sea region the possibility, then we saw that oh, this is a nice chance to involve also uh, partners from from abroad, who might have had slightly different uh, situation and slightly different uh, solutions, slightly different problems, and slightly different answers to the questions, and so uh, this is how it all, in a way, officially began, and uh, what we want to now achieve is that uh, we go through the whole process, what happened during the COVID crisis, uh, how the changes were made in the organizations, what kind of changes we, they were in the terms of organizational change, in terms of uh, ICT use, in terms of uh, financing and financing mechanisms. And then mm, just uh, as we go through the process to discover uh, how to be better prepared uh, for a forthcoming crisis. We started out the PAMUR project by organizing a questionnaire in five different countries uh, asking museums uh, how uh, they saw the uh, COVID years, what kind of problems they had and what solutions they found to their issues. We got uh, over 70 responses from these uh, countries taking part in the project and uh, learned a great deal about experiences from these years. We found out that there were very similar solutions and there also uh, was uh, different, different uh, things 
museums could do to make their situation better. Here in Finland, of course, uh, also many museums and memory institutions had to close down during the pandemic years. And it caused uh, financial issues uh, to their uh, organizations. Forum Marinum, our museum, is a maritime museum, uh, but we are also an important center for events and uh, conferences. And during the COVID years, we couldn't organize uh, different events here. We couldn't offer uh, the access to our exhibitions, to our visitors, and that uh, led to uh, different issues also from a financial point of view. It affected the museums uh, in quite different way, depending uh, on the size of the museum, the location of the museum, its ownership, its financing mechanism. Uh, because, um, for example, a, a small museum somewhere in the countryside that was um, anyway closed uh, during the most acute time of, of the COVID pandemic, that is the winter time, um, and uh, it might not be affected at all. Or it was only affected to a small extent because already during the summer uh, they were again once opened. Uh, on the other side, those museums that are located, uh, uh, let's say, in Tallinn, in the capital, or in larger cities, and who are heavily uh, relying uh, on a number of visitors, a number of tourists uh, to uh, get the revenue, they were affected uh, quite a lot. Of course, uh, when uh, or where all the museums uh, uh, were involved or affected was um, <coughs> how work was organized. We were all closed. For a, time, for a time being uh, completely closed, then partially closed, there were restrictions of how many people could visit the museum at the time, and we all had to change our, our working culture and organizational culture. And uh, this included remote working, uh, use of ICT, uh, people um, kind of re-specializing uh, uh, because uh, uh, you still could do work in the, with the collections uh, or with uh, thinking out or developing uh, exhibitions. Uh, uh, so everything that uh, excluded uh, the clients. So I think the uh, effects were different. Uh, and um, at the beginning, they seemed to be all negative. But uh, now, already taking from a certain perspective, we also found out uh, some positive uh, marks or some positive issues in, uh, in, in this crisis as there is always, always something positive in each crisis. The COVID uh, pandemic uh, affected us a lot here in Sweden, of course, as in every other country. Um, we had to close, we couldn't, um, uh, no one could visit us. Um, we had to postpone uh, investments. Um, and we also had to um, let staff go for a while uh, before we could turn around and find another way to work. So we focused on planning new exhibitions and uh, research and publishing books during the pandemic. The COVID the pandemic was followed by the war in Ukraine and then came the financial crisis affecting both the museum, of course, but also our, our visitors. Uh, so it's quite hard times for the museums in Sweden. The most important goal of the Pamul project is create a toolbox for museums. Solutions they could use uh, to better cope with different kinds of crises, not just the pandemic, but also uh, crisis of a different kind and different disruptions in their operations. To help us better create this toolbox, we are organizing three different pilots, one in Finland, one in Estonia and one in Sweden. Looking at uh, these problems and solutions from the three different points of view. Here in Forum Marinum, our goal is to look at digital resilience. How could we better use digital tools to improve museums' ability to cope with crisis? In the recent years, we have uh, created four different digital exhibitions about our ships and about our collections. And now we are gathering feedback and information from our visitors to those exhibitions, from our users, customers, 
and trying to create a better virtual exhibition, plan for a better virtual exhibition based on that information. We are making a plan to create a virtual exhibition of the Fortress Island of Öre and planning for different kinds of uh, tools to be used making that exhibition. The goal of the pilot is to find out what kind of tools could be best used to help museums in different kinds of crises and to find out tools that we can uh, tailor for issues that might arise during disruptions on a great scale. Our pilot project is uh, uh, focusing on uh, crowdsourcing or involving uh, volunteers into our museum work. Uh, there are quite a lot of people in Estonia who are interested in military heritage uh, and uh, they are already working with our museum and uh, they are also working uh, kind of independently but we want to have it more uh, structured or to give them a platform uh, for uh, this cooperation between them and us. And uh, although quite a lot of uh, historic materials uh, are digitalized and available in digital archives in Estonia, texts and photos and everything. Um, what we lack is actually we lack a list of uh, or a register of uh, let's say names of uh, people uh, that uh, took part in, uh, in let's say uh, Estonian War of Independence. We don't know all, all not only all of the soldiers but we do not know all of the uh, officers or we do know them but we do not know the information about them. That is uh, uh, we have to digitalize the, let's say, the m main registers of the memoirs, also the registers <coughs> of the digitalized material in the archives. And thus, uh, if we take a common Estonian name uh, like Maggie, and uh, if I'm a military historian and in my research I uh, come up with a major Maggie, uh, then it would be very difficult for me to find out who he was, what he did, uh, is his uh, deeds worth of studying uh, further anymore or not. But if I have a better uh, access or let's say a full register of major Maggie's active in the Estonian War of, War of Independence, it saves me a lot of time. And uh, it's not only going through the uh, archival materials which give the official uh, kind of point of view, but also the memoirs which uh, combine a personal touch and uh, the uh, official or archival uh, approach. So uh, we shall select a bunch of volunteers, uh, we shall train them, we shall develop a technical platform where they can, let's say, uh, list uh, the name registers of the memoirs and other books uh, published on the Estonian War of Independence and then we hope it will be useful for the further researchers, both professional, professional and amateur. We, in the pilot, we will be looking uh, more deeply into a new way of working, uh, a cooperation between the museum, uh, universities and companies, uh, because we think that that is a new way of working for the museums. And it's very important to find new ways of funding um, and research and uh, cooperating with as many people as you can. Uh, we will also ask our visitors what they think about our exhibitions um, because we have to know are we on the right uh, track? Um, are we doing something that they really like? Um, because all the things are connected. You can't just pick one thing. You have to see the whole picture. Um, what we have discovered is that there is so much knowledge among us, among all the museums and institutions that we have talked to, among the partners in the project, um, and we can learn so much from each other.